Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial about consolidation indicator and immutable row ID object. We know that we can configure one of the shows for making immutable row ID object. So let's start today's session and we'll see how it impact the immutable row ID object on consolidation indicator or in other words what is the relationship between consolidation indicator and immutable raw object. In order to demonstrate it, we have created one table called as a CBO party and in the merge setting we have configured DNB as a immutable raw object source. So what are the records which are coming from DNB source will be loaded or will be immutable raw object. So that means whenever we load the record from the DNB source, those will be directly marked with the consolidation indicator 1. So let's start today's session. So in order to demonstrate that, we have created landing table. In the landing table, we have 5 records. The very first three records are very similar, Mike Paul and the last two records, Bob Ray. So let's see, out of this file record, one record is DNB and we will be expecting this record should be the winner. So let me create some unique SS, uh, SSNs. Three times. Okay, so just, it's just make life easier to remember. Okay, that's fine. So let's commit it and we'll run it. So in order to run the job, we'll use the staging table. So if you notice, we have DNB source, CRM and source one. So we have to run corresponding stage job for the party. So CRM we have, so let's run stage job, not the load job, stage job for the CRM. Hopefully there will be a couple of records. CRM job is in progress. We'll quickly check how many records we have from the CRM. From CRM we have the two records, source one two and DNB one. One more thing, uh, we have configured the match rules on the uh, full name, so that will be used for matching and merging. So the two record from the CRM, one record from the um, DNB and two records from the source one. So this will just load the records. We are not running match and merge initially. So let's run and we'll verify what is the consolidation indicator for the DNB record. So I'm just loading the CRM <coughs> source record then DNB. it's loading and then source one as the volume of record is low it's running very quickly but in the real time production it will take a quite good number of time so let's quickly check we are just done with the loading and now we can see in the base object there is one record with row ID object 3 is having the consolidation indicator one so before running the match and merge this record has the consolidation indicator one and this record is from the source DNB. So that is fine. Now what we'll do, we'll run the match and merge and we'll see what will happen. So if you remember the raw ID object three is corresponding to DNB and it is going to win because every other record corresponding to that or the matching record to that will merge into this DNB record. However, the raw ID object will be from the DNB. The other attributes might be from the other source. So we are done with match and merge. One record accepted as a unique. And we'll just verify. Now I can see there are two records. One, like if you see the uh, in the landing, let me show you landing the DNB contains Mike U Paul and there is Bob Ray which is completely different record. So it is creating two groups, one for the Mike Paul and the other for the 
other for Bob Ray. So if you say the Michael Paul is not from the DNB, it is from the Michael, uh, it is from the source one and that is getting win. That is totally fine. But if you notice, notice it's a Roy D object, it is a three that is correct uh, coming from the DNB. So we can, it is not allowing to modify the Roy D object of that record. For the Bob Ray, it's totally fine because it is just completely a different group. So it can be a four or it can be any other uh, Roy D object. So we don't worry. We just checking how the consolidation and merging works for the DNB source. Now the next thing we are going to see if we unmerge this record what will happen whether the consolidation indicator will be one for the DNB record or will it change. So first what we'll do we'll check the consolidation indicator for the record four which is for the Bob Ray which is not related to the DNB or not related to the immutable source. So, so let's go ahead and create one put package. Not create put package. Click on this package section. Next, give the name put party. That will just enable this put. Select next, and we have to create a query. So I'll just select this, create new query, and we'll create a new query based on the party table. Your Y party, and we have to select the party table from the drop down. Click next, select the what are the columns you want. I will select all of them, and here that query will be loaded. If we have created so many packages in your environment, it will take little good amount of time. But as it is very small environment, it's quickly got created. So let's select that and click on the finish. So this will create a package for us. What is the purpose of this package? This package we will use to unmerge the record using MDM hub. So we know that there is a data manager and the merge manager sections in our data steward section. So let's select the data manager. Let's select the, the bio party. It will show us what are the packages we have begin and finish so you can see there are two records one with row id object 3 one and other with row id object 4 so if you notice when i select row id object 4 it has the two record original row id object 2 and 4 do not select this the record with the same original row id object and row id object select which is having the two different row id object and original row id object and at the right hand side you will see the a button called as unmerge which is yellow color click on that unmerge button and one pop-up will come do you want to unmerge this record select yes so if you remember the two and four row ID object will be get unmerged and once it is unmerged we'll go to the database and we'll verify what is the consolidation indicator if you notice the consolidation indicator of the record with row ID object 2 is become the consolidation indicator as a 4. As this record was merged initially into the row ID object 4, now it came out from that and become consolidation indicator 4. However, the original record with row ID object 4 is remain 1. So that is fine. What will happen with the case of the, the record which is coming from the immutable source? In order to check that, we'll go to the data manager, select the record, and now what we'll do, we'll unmerge the record one by one. Make sure to unmerge such a record which is having different original ROID object and ROID object. So select here, I have the original ROID object as a one, and the ROID object as a three. Those are totally different. Go to the yellow unmerge button and click that record will get unmerged. Similarly go with 5 and 3 row ID object and unmerge. Once you done that, we'll go back into the database and see what will happen. Now if you notice the row ID object 5 and the row ID object 1 which is got unmerged 
from ROID object 3. 3 is from the D and B and if you notice after unmerging the row ID object 3 has the same consolidation indicator as previously. So if you notice this consolidation indicator for immutable source system does not changes even after unmerging the record. So that is the relationship between the consolidation indicator and the immutable ROID object. The immutable ROID object will always have the consolidation indicator 1 unless it is modified through the CIF API or any manual updates. With the regular process it will not be yet updated. It will be always 1. I hope you got clarity on how the consolidation indicator relates with the immutable ROID object. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time.